Canned tuna is a common ingredient in sandwiches, salads, and recipes for lunch. It's one of the most consumed foods worldwide, caught in over 70 countries. But how are millions of cans of tuna processed and canned? In this video, we'll discover how canned tuna is made, starting from the moment the tuna is received from fishing vessels, all the way to the meticulous cleaning of tuna loins and the precise process of can filling. Tuna is an abundant fish in the Pacific Ocean. It's caught by fishing boats equipped with refrigeration systems to freeze the fish and keep them in perfect condition until they reach the processing plant. Initially, this food was known in 1909 in the United States, specifically on the West Coast, but even earlier, around 1810. It was when the first canned foods were introduced by Peter Durand, a Briton who designed the first cylindrical can. Therefore, in the 20th century, a company named Salica from La Coruña, Spain began manufacturing canned tuna. The canning of tuna was invented in the early 20th century as a means of preserving the fish product for a long period without the need for refrigeration. Canning is a food preservation method that provides a typical shelf life ranging from one to five years. Cans are sturdy containers suitable for packaging liquids and preserving food. They can be made of steel or aluminum and are tightly sealed to protect the food from UV light, oxygen and microorganisms. Canned tuna contains 24 to 25 grams of protein, making it a high-protein food beneficial for our health. According to many scientific studies, canned tuna can even contain more protein than fresh tuna. The tuna is frozen directly on the fishing boats and then transported in containers to the factory, maintaining the cold chain. Here, between 25 and 30 tons of tuna are produced each day. Firstly, the tuna is received from various suppliers or tuna vessels, and its quality is checked. Once it's confirmed that the product is in good condition, the tuna is cut. Frozen tuna is cut using a saw. First, the head, then the belly, and finally the tail are cut before the rectangular loins are sent to the production process. The tuna remains submerged underwater for a long time. To cook these large quantities of tuna, 14-meter-long trays are prepared to hold about 10,000 kilograms of tuna. This helps preserve the taste, texture, and nutritional values of the tuna. Steam is used to cook the tuna, and it's constantly controlled using sensors inserted into the loin. After about three hours, the tuna is cooked. Before proceeding further, it needs to be cooled in special conditioning cells to remove excess moisture and ensure a better quality of the final product. This steam baking process eliminates excess fat and prepares the tuna for the removal of skin and bones. Once the tuna is cooled, it's sent to cleaning tables where the separation of edible meat from the skin and bones begins. After all these processes, the workers who assist in processing the canned tuna must clean the fish to remove unwanted bones, along with scales, skin, and fins. Then, they check everything in detail for quality. The tuna is cut differently, depending on the type of can it will be packed into. Alongside the artisanal production, there's a highly efficient automated department where consumer products are canned automatically. Through five different production lines, the cleaned loins are moved to the canning process. An operator places the cleaned loins on a conveyor. This conveyor moves the tuna and introduces it into a compression chamber to give it a cylindrical shape. Blades cut the tuna and place it inside the can. The cans are automatically filled with tuna and moved in a single line from the filling machine to the vacuum sealer. Each filling machine can process up to 600 cans per minute. To ensure that this food stays well-preserved for a long time, liquids are added, which depend on the company processing the canned tuna. The most common additives are oils like olive or sunflower oil or salt water. These additives help maintain the food in good condition for a very long time. The filled cans are transported on conveyor belts to which broth or olive oil is added, depending on the product type, and then the cans are sealed and washed. Subsequently, the lids are automatically closed at the top of the can before entering the vacuum sealer, where air is extracted and the lid is tightly sealed. This process requires real-time monitoring by humans to ensure perfect can seals. The machines used by companies for sealing these products need to have steam jets for the proper application of the seal. 
The ceiling machine dispenses lids at a rate of 100 to 800 cans per minute. The cans are sealed, washed and loaded into baskets for steam cooking in autoclaves. The cans go through a water bath to remove oil residues and are then placed back into baskets. Powerful magnetic lifts then transport the sealed cans to large metal baskets. These baskets are loaded 12 at a time into huge pressure cookers where the fish is cooked and sterilized. These ovens can cook up to 12,000 cans at once. Simultaneously, the products placed in special baskets move to the next stage, one of the most delicate as it involves sterilization within enormous steam autoclaves. This process is carefully controlled using thermography to ensure the product is sterile and durable. After completing this process, the hot canned tuna undergoes a thermal process that extends its shelf life. As the cans exit the autoclave, they are hot and are given a cold water bath to regulate the temperature, ensuring they won't have issues upon reaching supermarkets. The sealed cans are placed in steam sterilization chambers to kill any bacteria that might damage the product. Bacteria can be present both inside the can and on the food, so proper sterilization is necessary. Once the sterilization process is complete, the hot cans are washed and cooled with cold water. After sterilization, the sealed containers prevent microorganisms from entering and growing inside. Following the cooking time, the sterilized canned tuna is removed from the basket, transferred to a cooling area, and then sent through an X-ray machine that checks for bones or metals. Only after passing this inspection are the cans labelled. Once the cans have cooled down, they are labelled the day after packaging. The quality control personnel open representative samples from the previous day's batch and classify them. After sterilization, samples from each production batch are taken for thorough and meticulous laboratory tests. This is the final step in the canned tuna manufacturing process. The cans will be labelled with product information. The cans of tuna are packed into cardboard boxes and are ready to be shipped worldwide. Before delivering the cans of tuna, Manufacturers always perform one last check to ensure there are no compromised canned tuna products. Some manufacturers will keep the cans for a period to check if any are swollen. Damaged cans will not be released to the market. This is the process of making a delicious can of tuna. If you want to know how sheep's wool is converted into clothes, watch the video on your screen. Like the video if you have enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Also, subscribe to this channel by activating notifications to keep learning. Thank you for watching.